Parents fight back against attempts to remove Catholic ethos from school and ask Archbishop Jermyn Martin for his support. Parents in at least three North County Dublin primary schools are upset and angry at attempts to remove the Catholic ethos from their schools, a move that they say is discriminatory and would mean that celebrations such as Christmas, Easter and St Patrick's Day would no longer occur. You want to keep it Catholic? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone in there. It is our Everyone. E Nobody, not one person in there wants to change. It's a Catholic ethos yeah. and it is a Grail school. That's our choice as parents and that's the way we intend it to stay. Words like Diagwit would be removed from this school. If is that true though? It is Absolutely. true. So Diagwit is obviously um, hello, Oscalic, but it is referencing God. Personally I'd like them to stay as Catholic ethos. Bit of an atheist myself, but I'd still prefer my grandchild to grow up in the Catholic tradition you know, with the values that are associated with it. To not only send them to a Catholic school, but a Catholic Grail school, you know, that kind of says a lot about, you know, the kind of education you want your child to have. And they are now trying to take that away from us and take the Catholic ethos away from the school. If this is taken away from us, I feel that we're being discriminated against. I am very upset, yet yeah, um, I don't think that this should come from the government. The people, um, the parents of the school should have to say that we want um, the school that our children want to go to, a Catholic school. If governments want more schools, they shouldn't be asking us to force and change. What they should be doing is building new schools. The problem is that there are not enough schools. What's wrong with Educate Together? What's wrong if we take out the religion? What's the issue there? It's not a Gwail school like an Educate Together. So we're here and it's the Irish language. We want to keep that alive. We want to keep the culture alive. We want to, um, and part of being Catholic, that, that all comes in. It all ties in together. We don't get that in, um, in Educate Together. I cho chose that school specifically for that reason. You didn't actually think that you would lose Christmas. You didn't think you'd lose Paddy's Day. Well, the thing is, it's not, you might be informed, but it's not taught as a religious practice there in, in, in other schools. And what's wrong and with the Catholic... winter play? What's wrong with that? Just having, calling it winter? No, because it's, it's, it's part, it's, it's Christian, and we're in a Christian school. Media reporters were also surprised to hear that most parents, if not all, were totally opposed to the change. Really strong, really passionate views there from some parents, and indeed, Shane, some really upset parents there speaking after mm. that meeting at, a, at school um, on Dunenig as well in Concili to our reporter, Henry McKean. Really strong views, and it just goes to show, uh, I, you know, there's a lot of parents out there do do not want change. You won't hear those views expressed too often in li liberal media uh, circles. Focus will now turn to Archbishop Jim and Martin, who up until now has insisted the Catholic schools should divest patronage to more secular bodies. The question for the Archbishop is whether he will stand with parents who wish for their schools to remain Catholic, or whether he will continue to insist that religiously run schools divest patronage.